Welcome back to Nineworks TV and a 964 special. In production from 1988 to 1994, the third generation 911 is a cracker. And with these 10 top products spread around the categories of bodywork, interior and performance, they should help give you some ideas to make yours even better. All right then, so I'm back here today at Heritage Park Centre. The guys here are brilliant for letting me turn up, have a rummage through the warehouse and find some amazing products that I think can improve a certain era of 911. 964s are in vogue for handing to companies to do these high-end bespoke restorations. They're just as good being enjoyed as they are. The problem is they're well over 30 years old now. So there's definitely room for improvement, as I said, in terms of using modern technology to improve the drive, but also just tidying up some slop that's developed in the car over the last three and a half decades. And with these little upgrades that you can do at home, in my eyes, you're getting an even better car. All the products you see here, as well as a lot more, it's all available online at nineworks.co.uk and on the Heritage Parts Centre website. And a little tip, whisper it, that if you add the code nineworks10 at the checkout, you can get up to 10% off your basket at Heritage Parts Centre. I've split these down to three different categories today. We've got bodywork, interior and performance. We'll begin with bodywork products for the Porsche 964. First products I'm going to pick out are the brake cooling ducts. Now this is a timeless upgrade really. It's been perennially popular for 964s um, and even 993s afterwards actually. These replace your fog lights in the uh, front bumper of your 964. Of course, it aids or gives some additional cooling to your front brakes. Very important, particularly if you're going down the performance upgrade route with bits and pieces later on. Um, but this is a really simple and effective way of increasing cold airflow into those brakes. That's half the reason they're popular. The other thing is if you want to go down the RS look, and let's face it with the 964 Carreras, it doesn't take a lot to achieve that RS look. You're gonna need these, it's kind of crucial really. It's one of the main giveaways when you can tell an RS 964 apart from its Carrera derivative. Made from high quality ABS plastic, it's plug and play. Whip the fogs out, whip these in. Bit of weight saving as well if you wanna add a tertiary uh, positive to this upgrade as well. Nice and easy, nice thing to do. These look like a really nice quality product to be honest. And for 85 quid for the pair, extremely wallet friendly as well, I would say. So a nice, easy, cheap and effective upgrade to improve subtly the look of your Porsche 964. Next up, I'm gonna choose what is the largest product on the table ahead of me. And it's this, the Sunroof Delete Panel. Now this is stainless steel. It's supplied by SSP via the guys here at Heritage Parts Center. It's for the 964, but actually it's available for all sunroof 911s from 1964 up to the end of 964 production in 1994. Now quite simply, you can take out the sunroof that many of these cars came with, whip in this stainless steel panel, and you're taking away a lot of weight right where you don't want it actually, which is right above your head, right at the peak of the car. So it's gonna lower the center of gravity for the car. It's also gonna give you that non-sunroof uh, coupe look, which you may be going for. To be honest, Carrera 2 owners, looking at you here, it's very rare to find a non-sunroof Carrera 2 coupe, particularly in the UK, from factory of course. Um, and for good reason. Again, if you're going down that kind of RS style or RS look, this is something you absolutely need to consider. Right, okay, my last piece on bodywork, because let's face it, it's so subjective, but I'm gonna go for this, this anodized alloy silver fuel tank cap. I like, as you can see, uh, the drilled holes of the handle and the screws in there as well. It gives a very hot rod Magnus Walker style to this. Now, unlike the factory fuel filler cap, which isn't pretty to look at, it's why it's hidden under that leather flap and then of course the metal um, fuel cap cover. This is actually really nice to look at, very uh, lightweight as well. It's a really nice, perhaps subtle upgrade, particularly if you're gonna keep uh, the fuel filler in its location on the front left fender. It's also, I think, would make for quite a nice centerpiece if you're relocating to a center filler cap, which is very hot rod cafe racer style. I think that's a really cool upgrade and a subtle upgrade for your 964. As I say, there's plenty of choice online. Go and take a look, choose the bits and pieces for you. I've just picked out three here that I quite like, and if I had a 964, 
is probably the route that I would go down for when it comes to improving the look of your 964. I'm going to cover the performance aspect of the 964 last, which means we'll do interior next. Now, the 964, this is a common theme in these product videos, the cars are getting old. There's a lot, 35 years, three and a half decades worth of wear and tear in there. So as well as improving the car in terms of aesthetics um, and performance, there's also a care and quality aspect that you need to protect as well. Certain things uh, break, corrode, snap, etc. Now the door handles, I think they're quite susceptible. It's that flimsy, uh, on the interior that is of course, it's that flimsy black plastic uh, pull handle can break and wear and tear over time. Here is your long lasting answer to those. We've got some anodized aluminium door pulls for your 964 Carrera, Carrera 4. Very strong, very durable, will last a lifetime these things, okay? If you don't like the look of the anodized alloy as you see here, the guys at Heritage Parts also do a black version as well, which might blend in perhaps a little bit better with your interior. Uh, nice feel, durability as well, so great value for money there. Next on the interior, I'm going to sun visors. Now you might sit in, not just a 964, but any air-cooled 911, go to pull the sun visor down, and instead of it sitting flush, you'll get that droop where the sun visor's hanging off in a direction ahead of you. That is because your sun visor mounts are knackered. Uro has improved the design by using a heavy duty aluminium base that mimics the original part in look and fitment. Now these are a lot stronger and of course a lot more durable than a replacement plastic set that Porsche will sell you. Also a lot cheaper as well at only 35 quid for the pair. A very, very amicable solution to fixing a droopy sun visor. Lastly, interior. Oh. I'm going to steering wheels. I feature these all the time on these upgrades here because, I mean, I love them. Regular viewers to the channel will know I have a Momo Mod 7 fitted to my Porsche 996 Little Irish. Whether it's the Mod 7 or the legendary Prototipo, you cannot go wrong. It's just in terms of pick your poison. Both are 350 millimeters in diameter. The only difference is the Prototipo is a lot flatter, as you can see, uh, whereas the Mod 7 has more of a dish. What I will say is with 964s, and it's similar with um, earlier air-cooled cars as well, with a Prototipo, my only criticism is the, uh, your knuckles, when turning the wheel, can be quite near to the dash. If you've got massive, big old hands, you might find that slightly uncomfortable. The Mod 7 eliminates that, but certainly also, particularly if you like your track days or uh, rallying or anything like that, it brings the wheel closer to you, which I personally prefer. Both of the wheels um, available here at Heritage Parts. You need to buy a Boss separately, which the guys do here as well. What is included with the wheel are the horn pushes in the middle. I've said before, and again, people, regular viewers to this channel will know, it's touch points, touch points, touch points. It's those tactile areas of the car that really improve your engagement with it. As I say, a timeless upgrade. That's the last of the interior upgrades for the Porsche 964 that I've picked out. Let's dive on to the performance category now. Right, braided lines. Now I've picked these out before. In fact, I've picked them out of most of my videos where we're doing products. I've had some stainless steel lines fitted to my 996 and the difference in pedal feel was unbelievable. That with um, some dot four fluid or dot five, if you're really, if you're really pushing on, um, really helps the performance side of the car because braking is performance, it's not all about go. Now these stainless lines from BF Goodridge, they'll give you that better pedal feel, but also, as I've said before, there's a longevity piece as well to these, okay? It's a stainless overbraid covered in a clear outer coating. These will get rid of the synthetic rubber used in brake hoses supplied on cars from the factory. They can expand under pressure, so this will basically remove that spongy feel you can get when pushing the brake pedal on these classics. Now, brake pedal feel on 964s is actually pretty good. It's a lot better than the G-Series stuff from prior, but again, getting a set of these will always improve your pedal feel. For 100 quid, I'd say that's a worthy upgrade. I'm also going next to some poly bushes from Powerflex. Now, again, this is a common theme in my videos. The car's 35 years old, particularly when it comes to bushes. A lot of them are perished, aged basically gives a lot of slop underneath, okay? Now putting new bushes in 
super, super important. And actually, these little polyurethane bushes can actually make the car feel like new. And that can go right the way through the underneath of your car, not just on the arms, like trailing arms on the 964, for example. Even gearbox mounts, engine mounts. I've actually got the gearbox front mount here uh, with metal washers and inserts as well. It's a direct replacement for the factory part number. There are a host of companies out there to choose from. What I like about Powerflex, they used to be purple, which were quite, quite stand out. Now they're black, so they kind of blend in, but polyurethane, um, really difficult to say that, I'm not sure why. It's a superior product, really. It's performance-based, and again, it just tightens up how that car feels. The world is your oyster there. You can replace the lot, and just doing that alone will substantially improve how your car feels and handles on the public road. Okay, now as an extension of that, we can go down the road of aftermarket lowering springs. Certainly in terms of aesthetics, I hope I'm not gonna upset too many people to say it sits right up in the clouds in comparison to the 964 RS that followed. A basic thing you can do is to get a set of lowering springs such as uh, the Pro Kit here by iBack. This particular kit will lower the front by between 30 and 40 mil. It will lower the rear of the 964 by 30 mil. It's a healthy drop in ride height. As I said, it will improve the aesthetics of the car in bringing it closer to the floor. It also improves the performance as well. You're lowering the car's center of gravity. The springs are stiffer as well, so it's gonna give you slightly more predictable handling. It's gonna reduce squat under acceleration and body roll in the corners as well basically stiffens or tightens everything up, which improves uh, performance of the car. For example, it'll help you to corner flatter. The guys at iBrack point out these are engineered and tested to work perfectly with the stock dampers. And these come with a million mile warranty, which you are never gonna do in your lifetime, okay? So for 400 quid, exceptional value for money, I would say. What have we got? We've got two products left. So penultimate, I'm gonna go for this. Oof, mighty thing, uh, stainless rear silencer. The 964 actually from factory has a really nice sound to it, really kind of gruff baritone sound, very unique compared to any other 911. But as ever, there's always room for improvement. It says it'll give you a BHP increase. I don't usually like to say that, certainly without testing these things, but really, particularly with a classic car, are you really pushing for extra brake horsepower or are you just looking for that engagement and that emotional attachment to the car? Certainly in changing the sound and giving that um, exhaust note a bit of an uptick, I think that's where the real win is rather than any BHP. You may of course disagree, but Dansk say this will improve the bark of the 964, which let's be honest, for a sports car is always welcome. It is made from high quality polished 304 stainless steel. It's worth noting that this will fit any 964, so Carrera 2, Carrera 4, RS, even turbo models, okay? So ubiquitous addition for the 964 lineup. It's a nice win, particularly if your factory silencer is corroded. As we know, there's a whole road you can go down when it comes to improving the sound of your 911, be it 964 or otherwise. Uh, replacing rear silencers is one thing. You can also look at manifolds. You can also look, and this is what's particularly popular in the 964 world for that extra gruff note or bark, is uh, a cat bypass pipe as we've got here. Now again, this is manufactured by Dansk. It features the same high quality 304 grade stainless steel. It comes with, crucially, the Lambda sensor hole and plug. So it really is a plug and play item. As you well know, bypassing the cat basically enriches the sound and power flow. Fairly lightweight, of course, as well, actually, always helps. If you quite like, again, the bark of the 964 and you just want to increase the airflow, maybe you just want to go down that route. It's slightly cheaper at 500 quid. Uh, combine the both of them, I would love to hear it, put it that way. That's your lot. That covers our top 10 products that I've picked out today for your Porsche 964 covering interior, exterior, and performance upgrades. As I said at the start of the video, you may disagree with some of these and you may prefer to go down a different route when it comes to modifying, maintaining or upgrading your 964. Regardless, take a look online at the Heritage website. There's over 25,000 Porsche and VW parts for you to have a look at and pick out what's right for you. Don't forget you can use that code 9works10 at the checkout for up to 10% off your basket. If you've got any must have or must do upgrades to share for the benefit of the rest of the community, pop them in the comments below. I'm gonna pop the product numbers for all of the products used today 
in the description. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. It means when I drop a video, you get to see it first. We'll see you again soon on another video for Nine Mikes TV.